Gonna show our pride at Old Town McVeigh. Gonna embrace hard work each and every day. Gonna show our pride at Old Town McVeigh. Gonna embrace hard work each and every day. Good morning, McVeigh Elementary. Welcome back to today's video announcements. Today is Tuesday, April 7th, 2020. All right, and today's weather, boys and girls, is a high of 70 degrees. That is awesome. However, there is a high chance of thunderstorms in the morning, so make sure you stay in in the morning. But, man, that, that 70 sounds good, doesn't it? It does. We want to wish a happy birthday today to Cameron from Miss Clouston's class, as well as a staff birthday to Mrs. Florence. We hope you all have an awesome day, and happy birthday, Mrs. Florence. And now time for the joke of the day. This one comes from Braden B in Mr. Mitchell's homeroom. Mom says, honey, go pick up your room. I say, I can't, it's too heavy. <laughs> ah, nice, I love that. Thanks, Braden. we love hearing those jokes. That was an especially good one. And now for this day in history. On this day, all the way back in 1948, the World Health Organization was established. And that's particularly um, important with some other announcements we'll have later on today, but especially with everything that's been going on today in our world and society, and for how important health is right now, um, the World Health Organization has had a very large part um, in um, helping societies and people through this time. And it's important to recognize the day that they began. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. All right, today's principal message is all about grit. It kind of connect, obviously it connects with yesterday's message about grit. So let me even elaborate a little bit more about what we mean by grit. Grit is a marathon. It's not a sprint, boys and girls. You remember the story of the tortoise and the hare, how slow and steady wins the race, not sprinting out fast at first, but eventually falling behind and not being able to finish. Setting goals can be a great way to get started. Set a goal for the day and for the week. What steps will you take to accomplish those goals? As we go through this time where we're not in the classrooms and we're not able to be extrinsically motivated by our teachers being right there with us to push us and challenge us, it's extremely important that we embrace that grit and that we work hard and we set goals and we work hard to accomplish those goals each day. I know you can do it, boys and girls. Mr. Fullen and I have the utmost faith in you. We're proud of everything you've done so far. Keep up the great work. Awesome. Thank you for that, Mr. Swain. A great message and a great continuation of our focus on grit for the week. And now with our extra credit challenge for today. So going along with um, kind of what we talked about with the World Health Organization being um, being formed and as we'll hear um, here in a little bit that today is an important day for health and for healthcare officials and we actually today's challenge is a health heroes challenge to um, thank the healthcare workers you know um, last week with uh, kindness day or with thanking an important woman in your life but today we want to make sure that all of us are thanking a healthcare professional for everything that they are doing for our city, state, country, and world right now. So be sure that you tag that um, post your thanks with hashtag McVeigh Extra Credit, share it on social media, send it in to us through email or to your teachers, and we'll make sure that all healthcare professionals feel the love today and feel how grateful for we are for everything they're doing. Thank you. Awesome, thank you very much, Mr. Fullen. And now, time for our announcements. This is just a quick reminder about Chrome, I'm sorry, Chromebook curbside pickup. Say that three times fast. Uh, we do have that going on again today. That will be held at Huber Ridge Elementary, Wilder Elementary, Walnut Springs Middle School, and Genoa Middle School. There's two times a day that those are open and available. That's 11 to 1, as well as 5 to 7. So again, uh, another note on that, I had a uh, one parent reach out to me and share that there was something not quite working right with her Chromebook that uh, she'd picked up last week. 
So my recommendation to her was to take it to one of those sites and exchange it for one that is working correctly. That'll be the quickest and easiest way for us to help you out if you do have a situation with your Chromebook right now. As we move on, if you continue to have issues with Chromebooks out past the time that we're passing them out, please just contact your teachers or Mr. Fullen and I, and we'll see what we can do to get that taken care of for you. Also, as Mr. Fullen had mentioned, that today is World Health Day. And so today we celebrate the work of nurses and healthcare professionals. We remind world leaders of the critical role they play in keeping our world healthy. Thank you so much for all of you do. I know my sister-in-law is the nurse and I just can't thank her enough for how much she's dedicated herself to helping others in the job that she's doing, especially in these hard times. So thank you to all the nurses and healthcare professionals out there for, you're just like our heroes. You, you see something going wrong and you jump right in to help fix it. And that's just, that's what it's all about. That's pioneer pride and that's embracing hard work. Thank you so much for everything you're doing. Great, and now it is time for some shout outs and kudos. Uh, first shout outs that I wanna give out are for a couple of students who have been completing our hashtag McVeigh extra credit. Um, from yesterday's challenge, um, that first goes out to Ansley in Miss Bechtel's class. Let's take a look at her work. Love it, that looks great. And also one of our fifth grade leaders, Lily. Let's take a look at what she's been doing. Awesome. Thank you both for brightening up the driveways. Um, now our next shout out goes out to some of our fifth grade leaders, Emmanuel, Layla, Hayden, and Mia for, uh, from Miss Clouston for asking for clarification with your toys and space links and worksheets. Great job. Uh, next one, Carson with Mr. McIntyre. Awesome job drumming, Carson. Keep up the music making. We love hearing that from our related arts teachers. That's great. Um, Eli in Miss Cooper's class for being an author and illustrator, making his own dog man book. Way to go, Eli. Next shout out is for Honesty and Elena from Mrs. Florence's class. Both of you passed the Lexi level. Way to go. This next shout out is from Miss D, um, who's filling in for Miss Bechtel. All of these students completed levels on Lexia. That's Grant, Adrian, Anna Clara, Nicholas, and Rasmi. Way to go, students. Um, this next shout out is for Clark, Fatma, Luca, and Nur, all from Miss Cooper's class, for completing Dreambox lessons. Way to go. Miss Walters is giving a shout out um, out to Laura and Emily for completing lessons on Moby Max. You all get a shout out. A Zariah from Miss Cooper's class is getting a shout out for completing books and that she's been reading on Epic. Way to go. Um, this next shout out is from Miss McKinster and Miss Fleckenstein to Cynthia, one of our fifth grade leaders, for embracing hard work by staying current with her assignments and using her resources to make sure that she's getting everything done. Way to go, Cynthia. All right, this next shout out goes out to Eli um, from Miss Powell and Mr. Mitchell's class for embracing hard work. We actually have a quick video of him uh, working hard with a little helper. Let's take a look. Nice job, Eli. All right, this next shout out goes out to Sully, AKA the Hulk from Miss T for working extra hard on Dreambox last week. Way to go, Hulk. That's awesome, I love it. These students from Miss Cooper's class all gained units on Lexia. That is Jake, Zariah, Eli, Sebastian, Luca, Gabriella, and Nur. Way to go. Tala from Mr. McIntyre, you also got a shout out for a great job on your music work. Keep that music making going. That's awesome. Uh, Miss T is giving shout outs to Addie, Brady, Brindley, and Paisley for all meeting their minutes for Dreambox. Um, and then also Miss T is giving out a shout out to Preston, Katie B, Rebecca, Makai, and Maya for meeting their Lexia goal for last week. Awesome job. And finally, Gabriella from Miss Cooper's class gets a shout out for meeting her weekly goal for Dreambox lessons as well. Great job, students. Love getting those shout outs. We'll, we've got tons more to be given out the rest of this week. And now I wanna give a few staff kudos. Um, this first one actually comes from a parent um, that emailed myself and Mr. Swain asking us to give a kudos out to Mrs. McKinster. Um, she has been doing an awesome job 
working hard to make sure all of our students can access their classwork. Thank you, Ms. McKinster, for everything you're doing for your students. Um, this next kudos goes from Mrs. Smalley out to Ms. Clouston and Mrs. Shepard for helping staff learn all about Schoology and Google Classroom. Thank you all for taking the time um, to help us all learn. That's especially important right now when we're doing more digital learning, their expertise um, it, it could not be overstated how much we appreciate that. And then finally, Ms. Cooper is giving a kudos out to Mrs. Shepard and Mrs. Smalley again for helping them, uh, helping all of our uh, teachers learn Google. Thank you very much. Uh, we love the, the student shout outs. We love the staff kudos. Um, McVeigh Pioneer staff and students keep up the awesome work. You all are rock stars and we can't wait to recognize more of you tomorrow. All right, that was awesome. Love continuing to hear about all the great things that our students and our teachers are doing. Please keep sending those in to us so we can continue to celebrate with you and give those shout outs out. Very proud. All right, at this time, let's transition to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I choose to respect myself and others by listening and following adult directions, speaking appropriately, keeping hands, feet, and objects to myself, walking at home, being prepared to learn. This is who I am, even when no one is watching me. All right, boys and girls, it's been an awesome Tuesday here with y'all. We hope that y'all have a great rest of the day. Remember, we will see you back here tomorrow for your next day's installment of your video announcements. And always remember, students, keep repping that pioneer pride. How to show our pride, show an effort because we tried. Positive attitude, show respect because we're not rude. We got integrity, doing good that you will see. Determined to be nice, yeah, that's how we live our lives. Got that pioneer pride. Rep that pioneer pride. Got that pioneer pride. Rep that pioneer pride.